Polling stations are now open in Newfoundland and Labrador for residents to vote for their next government. Joining us this morning from St. John's to tell us what we can expect is Associate Professor in the Political Science Department at Memorial University, Amanda Bittner. Amanda, thank you for being here today. Hi there, no problem. So uh, if we take a look at the past five provincial elections in this country, Ontario, New Brunswick, Quebec, Alberta, most recently Prince Edward Island, all saw their incumbents voted out of power. This is, uh, I don't, we haven't seen this level of turnover on the provincial level uh, and landscape uh, since the Great Depression. Will we see this trend continue in today's election with Premier Dwight Ball and his Liberals? It's possible. I think that at this point, even on election day, uh, the outcome is anybody's guess. Um, I think that there's been a lot of folks who are frustrated with both main parties who are open to just about anything, who may not see what, you know, that there's an easy solution and, and sort of will, will vote come like in the ballot box. Well, if, um, if there is that high level of frustration, I think a lot of people across the country would scratch their heads to say that uh, the Green Party has been making waves uh, clear across the country, yet no presence, official presence at least, in Newfoundland and Labrador. You would think that with that frustration could prove perhaps an opportunity uh, for the Greens to, to, to lay roots, if you will, uh, in Newfoundland and Labrador. Why not? Um, I think you're right about the potential there. I think uh, that traditionally, at least at the time right now, um, a lot of um, climate activists and a lot of folks who care about the environment tend to be aligned more with the NDP. Um, and the NDP is not super organized at this moment um, and has really not um, done as well in terms of organization and ground game as it has in the past. So I think there's definitely potential there for the Green Party to make inroads in the next little while. What are uh, voters' memories like in Newfoundland and Labrador? Because in 2015, when Premier Ball was elected, he immediately went back on two major campaign promises, and these big ones, no, no job cuts, no, no, raise, no raising taxes. Um, are they going to remember that today? I think Newfoundlanders and Labradorians have very long memories, but they, they, they go a lot longer than just, you know, four years ago. Um, when Ball made those promises in the last election, they were unrealistic promises given the economic climate at the times. And everyone who heard those promises knew that those were pretty much impossible. And despite those kind of unlikely economic decisions, voted for them anyway. So I don't think that folks are going to be too upset about that. I do think, though, that folks are frustrated with the general situation with the economy, with the fact that our expectations expenditures keep on rising without having an appropriate base. Um, we've got an aging population. Healthcare is really expensive. Things are not going to change unless drastic changes are made. Uh, well, let's look at the leader of the Progressive Conservative Party, Ches Crosby. He's tried to distance himself from the Muskrat Falls project. Uh, a lot of people outside of your province don't necessarily know what that is. Why is it so controversial? Uh, and, and explain it to us a little bit. Um, well, it's a it's a complex mega project. The idea is to basically build a dam and then have uh, cheaper energy in the province, more um, more available here. Uh, in the end, the costs were way higher than was projected. The research that was done at the time was not very uh, impressive, and there's an inquiry going on as to who should take the blame right now. So the PCs were in government when that was going on. They made those decisions. They want to distance themselves from it right now. But the Liberal Party has also made some decisions that have been seen to be not optimal either. Um, so it's it's a tricky one. Well, I think a lot of Canadians, for a lot of reasons, are going to be paying attention to the polls in Newfoundland and Labrador. Amanda, thank you very much for joining us today. No problem. It's a pleasure.